This is another place that we are going to develop. Uh, we are going to do in this campus or in this area the basketball and volleyball field with also uh, some other areas so for uh, the sport. As we live in a very tropical country, so uh, making a sport can be difficult if we are under a very strong uh, sun or uh, during the monsoon, you know, that is about six months of rain, it would be also difficult for the young, the children and to uh, play and then they are going to do a big uh, uh, a big uh, the roof in this area and then we have to fill it with a uh, long land and we got already uh, the support for um, uh, this area uh, that uh, gave us uh, this possibility so to uh, create uh, this another place for the youth so we, I want to cross here the, the point. This is a project of the water system for Don Bosco Cap. It's a project that has been also supported for donors through the uh, Don Bosco Bond, the Bosco Missions. Uh, uh, and uh, we, here we have the well, it is 70 meters, 70 meters down. So even if you see the, the sea of, uh, that uh, we have in Cap uh, Bay, it can be even uh, down, no, uh, deeper. And then we have water feed, fortunately the water is running through a pump and then it goes first uh, here in this area now, you can follow me and come here. So uh, in this area we have the water tank, it, is, it has a capacity for about uh, 4,000 liters of water, so the pump gets the water here first and after it will run uh, up. And here we are at the top of our water tower that have been supported through many donors through Don Bosco missions in uh, Bonn. And then uh, here we have four tanks. Every tank has a capacity of 2,000 liters of water. So the pump goes through here, then it gets it here, and after it can be distributed in all the campus. You see from here we get uh, a view of most of the area, the region of Cap and even Compost because it's a very tall tower. And we have profited also to make three rooms for lady teachers. And then you can see also the, all the bay, you now until Compot. Now it is very cloudy, so you can see the mountain, the Boko mountain. So this is a good point just to contemplate. I like it. Teasaray Women's Center has also the name of Peter Pete de Visser Women's Center uh, because Mr. Pete de Visser uh, from the Netherlands uh, donated this house for the service of young women who had come to study in the Don Bosco Technical School of Cape. Uh, especially Mr. Pete de Visser is a person very dedicated to support uh, poor girls and young women in Cambodia. The Don Bosco Bear Monument was built in 2012 as a model of the Don Bosco Bear House that is in Ibeki and now, call, now is called Cole Don Bosco near Chile. The Don Bosco House is one of the oldest buildings in Don Bosco Cape. It was built in the year 2000 
especially to uh, welcome uh, volunteers that come to support the educative works of Don Bosco. The house uh, has in this moment uh, nine uh, bedrooms and a small kitchen that is used by the culinary section for practice and training and uh, the other rooms of obviously for uh, volunteers. Uh, now with the new developments uh, we are trying to to, uh, to send all the female volunteers to live in the Bantea Stray uh, Women's Center while uh, the, this place will be uh, kept mostly for male volunteers and uh, maybe the uh, another people that are uh, uh, some guests that can come to the house. The Don Bosco Cave Farm is actually a very small piece of land. It is not too big enough, for example, to create a big production. But anyway, it has been also converted in a school of agriculture where some students can learn uh, some techniques and the development of agriculture uh, for the country. The section started in October 2013, but the agriculture uh, piece of land has been developed since uh, 2011 itself. Uh, in the beginning there were the idea to put some animals but of course the campus of Don Bosco Cave is not to enough uh, space for big animals like cows uh, or others. But um, the project in the future is to have uh, another piece of land in another place uh, with a biggest space so to make it uh, in a proper way. Uh, but the, the, the pro purpose of the uh, house, sorry, of the farmhouse is to provide food for the uh, school restaurant and the, uh, it, in the possibilities also to uh, be a mo more sustainable in the house. One of the ideas for the farm is to uh, grow uh, fish and uh, crabs knowing that we are in near the sea and also in a place um, that has uh, a, ve a big production of uh, crabs and then that could be one, uh, one of the ideas that we are developing, uh, especially in this place, uh, just to bring uh, 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 seawater, salty water, and try to uh, develop uh, now. Uh, this area uh, will be the site for our water treatment system and then uh, one of our goals is to be sustainable we already know about the problem of the electricity we resolve it with the solar panels so now we want to do a, a water uh, uh, plant system to, to reuse water and also to avoid any ecological impact into the sea and into the area and then uh, the, uh, soon we are going to start the construction uh, supported by Miserial also uh, of this uh, uh, this place. You can see the, the black waters come here. Here we had already worked a lot and the water is not too dirty like before. Uh, this is the area that we want to uh, build the hotel school. Uh, we have uh, this part uh, and a space so to continue in a new building and uh, something that we can create here is something like a pool and a restaurant so people uh, from outside can come to stay in the hotel. Uh, we are going to keep the other area there in the south uh, of the campus open so the students and the community can enjoy freely without any need to enter in the hotel. 
So we hope to have uh, a support to create this uh, project and uh, it will help us uh, first to create a space for training more, more and more youth and at the same time to create a sustainability with uh, people, uh, tourists, visitors to Cap province can come especially in the, in the high season. The high season all the hotels in Cap normally are full. Uh, the low season they are no full and then it gives an opportunity to concentrate more in theory uh, formation but in the high season the students will have uh, a lot of work. So this is the oldest building of the campus uh, and you know, originally it was uh, built for uh, a kind of hostel you know, for big groups coming from other provinces of Cambodia and then now uh, we have arranged it to continue being a place to uh, welcome guests, especially groups of children and youth coming from other organizations or from Moscow's in Cambodia. And uh, uh, all these uh, changes have been possible thanks to the uh, uh, with, with the Gansen from Holland and the SSCR from Rotterdam. So that we thank very much our donors with support. And then especially we are going to see the art section. That is a, a new section that we started just to, to give skills in art and communication. So come and see.